second here. I just have to hit all the right buttons to get us going here. Welcome to Fearless Fridays at Happy Healthy Women. And I'm super excited to be here today. And oh, this is really, this is the first time I've gotten to meet this lovely trailblazer and that's Janice. And she'll be, we're gonna be talking about relationships today. And um, just give me one second while I just hit all the right buttons to make sure we're flowing properly here. Perfect word for today, as Perfect. you'll soon find out. Um, <laughs> so, I am Maria Condi. I am the uh, branch director for Happy Healthy Women in Winnipeg. And we do these Fearless Fridays to really give everyone a flavor of what it's like to be part of the groups, some of the conversations that are had. And today is going to be one of those conversations. And we have Janice, who is one of our trailblazers from Flow and Go Yoga. And I'm super excited to chat with her today. It is my first opportunity to meet her. So I get to uh, ask her a few questions and get to know her myself. And this is, like I said, going to give you just a flavor of how things roll in Happy Healthy Women and um, some of the events that are going on and stuff like that, too. So welcome, Janice. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm going to let you do a little introduction about yourself because you'll do it way better than I will. <laughs> and uh, you can give all the nuances to what you do, too. Sounds fair. So like you said, my name is Janice. I have founded and I run Flow and Go Yoga, which is an online yoga platform, but really the objective is to redefine yoga and redefine that relationship with ourselves. So everyone talks about the mind body connection and we're only as good as we feel. So if you're, you know, your body's aching or, you know, you're, you're putting so much of your mind to that pain point in your body. So also as women who are often entrepreneurs or just women in general, we're busy. And so, you know, the 60 minute classes don't always work for us. And, you know, that regular class or perhaps just the class options, whether it's the instructor doesn't always work for people. So, yes. and I get it. I struggle to get into yoga yes. myself and I am like the quintessential. I'm small, I'm petite, I'm relatively bendy, but there just wasn't an option for people who were starting out truly beginners um, and who's, who wanted to move and feel good, but who felt comfortable walking into a yoga class. And so I've redefined it. So it's 20 minute yoga flows all online and we break everything down to how it feels in the body so that you can move and feel good. So if we're doing a stretch, I'm telling you, you know, you're feeling it in the left side body. It's just 20 minutes. You can drop in, feel good, build that connection to yourself and then carry on with your day. And the beautiful part about that is it helps you be consistent and it helps you get the most out of it. You start feeling good in your body and your mind is free to create oh, yeah. your life, your dreams. It's clear to get to know you and do that internal work, but you also show up as the best person you can be, whether it's in your other relationships, whether it's as a mom or as a professional it just gives you that opportunity to have all your energy moving forward in the direction that you choose. So it's been, it's been a beautiful thing to help people flow and get moving, yeah. feel good. And it's just, the benefits are endless. It's been amazing. So I my job it. is easy. I love it. Yeah. I love that. It's only 20 minutes too, because I am, I'm a busy person and to take like an hour out and, you know, go do the whole change and all that stuff and drive somewhere and drive back or walk, you know, all those things. Yeah. That, you know, you add all that up. It's a lot. And, that's, and then I don't do it. A lot of, yeah, exactly. And a lot of people, you know, it's that one hour a week. And I'm like, if you do 20 minutes, like three times a week, you're going to get that energy going so much more and you're going to feel yeah. so much more connected to yourself. Yeah. So then, you know, the possibilities after that are endless. You'll have so much energy. You won't even know what to do with yourself. Yeah. And I have a background in health coaching and from the nutrition side of things, but I, yeah. I do understand, you know, the um, movement side and, and I teach, I teach some workplace wellness courses and sitting at a desk all day is so detrimental to your health. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a new phenomenon about, you know, um, sitting all day and then going doing like a high intensity workout is not any better for you. Your body actually needs consistent movement. But even doing 20 minutes throughout the day at different point, a couple points is, is great if you can pull that off. 
Well, and the beautiful thing is, is as you do it, even pseudo consistently, if you can do those 20 minutes a couple times a week, you start to notice. Oh, yeah. You can't not have the awareness. So even as I'm sitting here, I'm very aware of where my pelvis is. And I'm like, I'm feeling really good right now because I'm not stressed in the back or anything, but I'm aware of how I'm standing. And I was in the kitchen earlier and I realized I was actually like stretching out the back of my calf as I was leaning, mm. leaning on the counter. And it was just like, oh, little stretch. Took me five seconds, carry mm. on. And it's those little bits that start to infiltrate your day. And you're just like, I feel like a gosh darn rock star right now. And that's how we should all be feeling. Yeah. And you'll know it's great if you can actually build those in and then just have them habit so that when you're standing at the kitchen counter, you don't even realize you're doing it sometimes. Exactly. My daughter does a yoga pose at our kitchen counter and I call her the pelican because she always stands in the tree pose. Yeah. <laughs> but it takes up my whole counter. <laughs> can we move the tree over here? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just replant you a little bit. But she does that as soon as she stands at the counter. That's the first thing she does. Mm -hmm. And, but not even consciously. Right. So all those little bits add up over time though, too. Just open your hips while you're at the kitchen counter. It feels amazing. Yeah. Let's talk about the relationship, um, the mind body relationship and your own relationship to your body and how it feels and all that stuff too. Cause I know that's where we're going to head with this conversation today. So I can let you lead off with that. If you have some thoughts on that. Yeah. I mean, I personally, I was actually talking about this with Meg Hebner, who's a um, branch director in Surrey, BC. And it's that fundamental self-love and that trust in yourself. So if you think like, yes, what I teach is yoga, absolutely. And how to move the body and how to feel good. But if you take everything that's on your mind and, you know, that's all your to-do list and your, you know, chores at home and the errands you have to run and you've got to take care of this and call this person, send that email. If you have half a mind or even a portion of your mind that's focused on my foot really hurts right now or right your energy is draining into that mm -hmm. portion of your life and it's not able to focus on other things so when your body feels good you just have this immense trust mm -hmm. that your body is going to carry you throughout the day and the week and the year and so no matter what's coming your way you're going to be able to handle it, right? It's one thing off your plate that you're just like, this is working for me. So I'm going to move forward with confidence because I feel good in my body. And there's been studies about, you know, body posture. If you're sitting like yes. this, you're not very confident, right? You don't have that energy. Whereas if you open your chest a little bit and you sit up, you're like, okay, I got this. And it's just that connection, that relationship with yourself that to me is such a foundational trust. Mm -hmm. because I know that when I step out the door or I know part of me, if I'm going somewhere, my body's got me. I don't even have to think about it, which means now I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on looking around. I'm focused on taking in my environment. I'm focused on making those connections. Paying attention and to things that are going to drive your business and all the other things in life. Exactly. Yeah. It's such, it's, it's basically a springboard to launch yourself forward. So um, yeah, to me, that relationship with yourself is really about cultivating the trust to say, I've got myself like I've never. And it took me, it took me four years to get into yoga myself mm -hmm. and what worked for me, but I've never looked back. Like yeah. I'm more confident now because I know what I'm capable of. And I know that I can focus on the things that are going to help me grow and help me expand and help me reach more women and I don't have to worry about certain things. Like it's such a liberating feeling that is, is. free to me. And I always, whenever I teach a fair bit on confidence, cause that's, I'm actually a certified confidence coach. So it's a huge piece of my foundation. Mm -hmm. And I talk about the exercise and the power poses too, you know, yeah. posture and all those things that all goes hand in hand. So what would you recommend for somebody who's really not into exercise yet? Or just, there's people that are afraid to even try some of it. Right. So Yes. And there's yeah. people out there who have had bad experiences. And the yeah. one thing I would say is there is something out there that works for you. I've had terrible yoga instructors. We're not all made the same. It's a 200 hour course. Mm -hmm. um, but at least for me, I can pull on a background. I'm also a respiratory therapist and I have almost 10 years of critical care experiences working in medicine. Like I know how the body works. My background's kinesiology, respiratory therapy. So 
you should find an instructor or ask around mm -hmm. for the right support for you. If somebody isn't willing to listen to, hey, I have a low back issue or I've had a herniated disc or I've torn my ACL. If somebody's not willing to listen to that, they're not the right person for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're starting, start small. Mm -hmm. The one thing I will always cue in, particularly in yoga, if you want to get into weights and stuff like that, I'm, I'm happy to have that conversation. It's a different conversation because yeah. I do do some weight training. But um, I always say, listen to your body. Like you are your best guide and it should feel good. Totally. So there is, and there's two things that you'll, you'll be able to know right away. If you're straining, like if your body feels strain and this is how you build that awareness because you're going to tune into your body and you're like reaching really hard for your foot and you're not breathing. Those are the two things that'll give it away. Strain. Yeah, we'll hold the breath. Yeah. That's your body's way of saying, no, this is outside my limits right now because it will change every day. That was a lesson I had to learn. But if you're holding your breath, you're not serving your body. So the biggest thing I would say is listen to your body and start focusing on what you can do. Cause a lot mm -hmm. of people are like, okay, I want to put my hands, you know, flat on the ground. And it's like, if you're, if you're not there, that's okay. Yeah. You'll get there, but start with what you can do and go by how it feels. Yeah. which is such an intuitive thing. And as women, we're really good at it. If we can get outside of our ego. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Cause there's some of us that are really competitive. <laughs> oh yeah. And it doesn't help. Like even when I pull up social media for, of course the algorithms know yoga, they just, exactly. and it's hyper flexible people and they're doing crazy back bends. And if you want to get there, that's great. I will never take it away. Cause that takes a lot of discipline and, and go for it. If you want to do that. But if you're just looking to move well and feel good, go by how it feels. Like it's yeah. hard, you know, when you've got that ego and all you're seeing is pictures of people who are like, their head is bent backwards to it, their feet and stuff. It's really unfortunate that social media, I mean, it's beautiful to see, like I follow Elo Yoga, which is yeah. beautiful and they, yeah. they're very bendy, but it's, yeah. you know, the majority of the population is not there. <laughs> yeah, and it would, I, I think it would deter a lot of people, right? Because It does deter and it doesn't yeah. bridge that gap. No. And, what flow and go is, is a lot of let's bridge that gap. Let's get you moving to feel good. And the beautiful thing is there's so many people who are like, okay, 20 minutes is great. And I love that. And I'm, now that I've started, Doable. I want more. Yeah. They're like, I feel so good. My body's craving more. It's like, yes, yeah. this is how you should feel. Yeah. It's a move. And, and that's what sets you apart from other people is you're bridging that space then. Right. So exactly. Yeah. I love that. I love that. 20 minutes is doable for most people. It's so doable. It's yeah. so, so doable. And we offer some short classes too, just to like, if you need to stretch it out in five minutes, again, it's just to pick me up during the day. It's just that little bit that you can do. Yeah. And everyone can do it. So is this all online then? It is all online. Yeah. It's, and that's the wonderful thing is like for 20 minutes, you don't want to drive to a studio yeah. and you can take it with you if you're going up to the cottage or, you know, like right now, like I told you, I'm based in Kitchener, Ontario. Yeah. Now I'm in Yellowknife and I'm teaching from Yellowknife because I can, right? Yeah. It goes with me and feeling good should go with you no matter where you are. Yeah. So are they live or are they um, pre-recorded or both? Both. So oh. we'd like, we like to support you. in a million questions. <laughs> so yeah, um, generally speaking, there's about 15 to 20 live classes a week. Okay. I have two other instructors as well. And it's beautiful because we all move and teach differently. So yeah. some are more challenging, some are more laid back. Um, but it's 15 to 20 times a week that are live because some people really love that accountability. Yes. And that's the that was intentional. I want to flow. Yeah. I want this journey with you because we're doing it together. Yeah. So if you want the accountability, we're here. But I understand you need the flexibility too of saying, well, you know, I've got a couple of clients this day at this yeah. time. So I can't make that flow, but I'll hop on and do 20 minutes later. Yeah, and, exactly. it's and the one thing that I truly, truly love, uh, speaking of like, how do you get started? We offer support every week. I'm reaching out to people going, what do you need this week? Mm, nice. And it's everything from people saying, oh, low back would be really good. I'm just carrying tension in my shoulders. That would be great. To people who are saying, I have a job interview this week. <laughs> I really need the flow for confidence. Yeah. It. It's very interactive. And if you're struggling you know, we can't see you. That's the one thing I'll say about flow and go is we push the feed to the yes. website. So I can't see you, 
Yeah. But I'll, you'll always hear me say, if something doesn't feel right, make a note, just come out of it, make a note and then yeah. let me know. And I'll hop on a one-on-one -on -one call because oh, cool. we deserve that support. Yeah. You know, if you're not sure, let me know. I'll hop on a call with you and I'll get you moving and feeling good. So you can move with confidence and feel empowered. I love it. I love yeah, it. So we have all of it. We have live, we have on demand and we have instructor support, which is not an offer from a lot of, um, a lot of online yoga platforms, no. which I think is disheartening. No. It is totally. I have questions. I know exactly. This has been amazing. I'm really being mindful of time because I know you have another class and we try and keep these within a 20 minute time frame if we can. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so what, what's going on in your world and how can people connect with you? So you can find me online at www.flowandgoyoga.com. You can find us on Instagram at Flow and Go Yoga. And there's also a Facebook group where I post lots of helpful tips, quick stretches. Um, yeah. And then just, just reach out on social media or there's one other... Yeah, you I'll can put some links in, in below of all this too. We'll so put links below, yeah, hello, .com. but I do get back to everyone and answer your questions because yeah. Yeah, we all deserve to move to feel good and just be inspired by ourselves. Absolutely. And for everyone else out there, I encourage you, if you haven't come out to one of the happy, healthy women meetings yet, there's lots. You can go to any of them across the country. Um, if you just go to meetup.com, type in happy, healthy women, you're going to find your local and what's closest to you and that but you can venture into any of them and, and do it because yeah, the, the more you amazing women across, across the country the, the more inspiring people you find like yeah just I've met personally has been like oh my gosh where where are all these wonderful women coming from yeah no it's amazing yeah. so thank you so much for being with me here today oh go ahead I will tell you too every yeah. Tuesday every Tuesday uh, yes every Tuesday 12 p.m Eastern Standard Time and 9 a.m. Pacific. Yeah. I do teach a happy, healthy women specific class, 20 minutes. And uh, it's just, yep, you can sign up. And then the last Tuesday of every yeah. month is a discussion. So if you're feeling apprehensive and you want to just come and talk about, you know, I'm not sure or I've had this bad experience in yoga and I didn't want to go or I don't feel welcome come and chat it out with me and we'll find solutions. We'll just honor where you're at and we'll find the ways in which you can move forward and feel good. Whether it's been everything from like, you know, I can't get out of my head. So I don't think I can do yoga. That's not true. That's, that's where you need to find the right instructor, which I'll yes. help you with. to um, some women, even within happy, healthy women have said, you know, I'm too big busted and I can't find the right sports bra. So we come with recommendations for that too. So any barriers you have, break them down and we'll get you moving and feeling good. I love it. That's amazing. Now, is that posted mostly on the Coquitlam one? Uh, no, it's posted in the global site. The global? Okay. Just want to make sure I send people, because we're, we're live in Winnipeg right now. So I've got to make sure everyone's going in the right directions. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. That is great. So thank you so much for thank hanging you. with me today. This has been amazing. And uh, everyone else out there, have an amazing Fearless Friday. And we will catch you all next week. I think All right. Thank you so week, much. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, everyone. Bye.